What's up guys, it's Chachi Power here to do a review which hopefully I can finish and do well because uh, very limited on time and this is a very big uh, Chogokin. This is the Solo Chogokin GX63 General Frankie which most people who collect the normal Chogokin passed up because it's from a show that's either considered obscure to them as it is for me even though this thing is hugely popular with a lot of fans. Uh, I just wasn't one that really had their attention grabbed by this until Josh B from Collection DX did a review and highly recommended it. So obviously that grabbed my attention. The only problem was the price. 250 bucks for something I know nothing about uh, was not something that really uh, grabbed my attention. But was on sale so I bought him. Uh, so here he is, General Frankie. And it's a huge box really big really heavy and you'll see why in just a moment uh, so here is the back of the box which shows all the different things he's got different modes he can transform into this tank mode here and then uh, this motorcycle type vehicle again not a uh, watcher of the show or manga anime all of that stuff so I can't give you details on what uh, you know the things are but uh, yeah General Frankie so General Frankie is uh, this gigantic robot here and you got the little regular Frankie guy which is uh, the pilot which pilots basically a robotic version of himself and yeah we're gonna go ahead and start with the review now guys just one more interruption if I may I did uh, remove the outer sleeve and it does show this incredibly awesome like vintage style uh, front box with the original Popey style Chogokin logo here which a lot of people did believe it should be part of the regular Chogokin line, but uh, they made it the solo Chogokin line, uh, which is fine. But check out the box, really cool. Uh, maybe they did intend for it to be like that, although it does say GX63 there, I don't know. But anyway, uh, here's the sides, which has a little, um, that little, what do you call it, the effect that you have on Photoshop to make it look like cartoons. They did that there, the actual toy. We turn it around back here. Uh, you'll see the two different modes. Basically a simplified old school looking version of the outer box. Alright, so, okay, so I guess now I can open it. So upon opening, I did realize it comes with a high, super high glossy uh, background there, which says General Frankie and I don't know what it says there uh, in J Japanese. I think that's that symbol there, the whatever kanji, whatever you want to call it, it it's the sound is do. If I'm not mistaken, so I, I really don't know what it says, but that's there for you guys. Uh, it does have this booklet here, which unfortunately is not full color, all right, uh, which shows all the different things you have to do to transform him. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this review, and then it has this, which is full color, and apparently, uh, by looking at it, it looks like it shows you the whole design process, a prototype phase, and you know, uh, pre-production models, which is really cool. I just wish I could read it. And it's got this like DX cutaway style uh, drawing here, illustration. So I think that's really awesome. I just wish I could read the damn thing. Uh, so that's there for you guys who are fans. All right, so uh, let me pull the robot out. So the figure comes in this big brick of styrofoam here with a cardboard flap, and if we open it, here he is. I just got to remove this really thick piece of uh, styrofoam and then carefully pull him out because he is heavy. Just grab from the crotch. All right, and wow, this thing is ginormous. Let's just get the styro out of the way here. Take the plastic pieces off, and this thing is freaking heavy, guys. The arms aren't even on this, and it's so heavy. Let me go ahead and pop those arms on. And the arms come in another huge section of the box, which is uh, the trays. So you get all these trays, guys. This is everything you get. Just a lot of pieces, a lot of arms, and what have you. So what we want to do is attach the arms, which we're going to do right now. So it's this tray here. And I just have to figure out how to open it. And check out that sword. That's a beautiful sword right there. Oh, so it's actually easier than I thought to open. It's just a little top thing there. Put that off to the side. Jeez, I gotta clean this area up. It's full of robots everywhere. Uh, pull the arms out. 
the arms are not particularly heavy, uh, but they are, they are. I'm not going to say they're not heavy. Uh, they are plastic, it seems, but they do have a good amount of heft, which is definitely going to add heft uh, to Frankie over there. So let's go ahead, pop these arms in. And if you guys uh, don't know already, if you're not familiar, this does have like the, the um, Megazord type connection points, the uh, whatever they're called. Uh, so I don't know if you can attach arms from other robots, but it seems to be very similar. And the very center section right there, you'll see, is die cast. That's why it's glossy like that. It's painted die cast. And yeah, let's go ahead and attach the arm. Pops right there, and it's got a nice firm pop. Uh, you want to make sure you push in all the way. It's not just this far because the arms will pop off. You want to get a nice satisfying pop in there. And uh, yeah, so here he is. Very big robot. I don't know if my camera's really giving off the size of this, but maybe having my hand in front, which doesn't really help since my hands are ginormous, but it is a big figure. What can I find here to scale him to? Let's see, I just did a review of this guy. This is a Voyager Hound. So Voyagers are on the big side of the Transformers. Uh, so you'll see him with a Hound there uh, for you Transformer fans. And for those of you that are not Transformer fans, here he is with a Super Robot Chogokin uh, Mazinger Z. I think this is Shin Mazinger Z. It's one of those special releases or whatever. Uh, so that's how he scales to that. So you can see he's ginormous. Uh, compared to this little Super Robot Chogo King. And yeah, so let's continue on with the review. There's a lot of things to go over. First thing I want to do is complete the look here. So we are going to attach the handle of the sword back here. So it doesn't actually use the regular sword to sheath right in there. Otherwise it'd be sticking out through the, uh, the bottom down here. But uh, that'll do. That gives it the look of having the sword on there. So let's do that. And... <sighs> kind of want to get articulation out of the way uh, so we're going to do that we have the head here all right which uh, does have a fair amount of movement looks like there's some movement there on the neck apart from what I'm showing you here and we have the shoulders which go forward and back it does look like they slide forward here uh, that's probably for a different type of thing actually I think this is what Josh was talking about you can bring the arms forward there seems to be a little tab holding that whole section probably for shipping uh, as he said but it seems like the whole section can move forward uh, so maybe I'll take a look at that later by pushing that in but it does slide back and forth on this area here this opening and it also has this movement separate from that then you get the nice ratchets you get like two and a half almost right there then you have this ratchet here which is really loud then you have the ratchets here on the elbows just listen to that guys rotation then you have the wrists and I just realized I put the hands backwards all right so now I got them in the right place uh, we do have the second uh, obviously I showed you the ratchets on the elbows but there's another movement at the top which also has ratchets this thing is amazing and the wrist and then the fingers which each joint is articulated so these fingers are very very articulated you can put them in whatever pose you want even uh, whatever dirty poses and then you have not a waist but you have the hips here which is a let's see if I can get some light in here uh, pretty complex design so you can see that whole thing and it's all die cast this thing is that's what really makes it heavy and the little hose detail which is cool you're not really looking underneath the toy but the hose detail is really nice and can't really see exactly how everything moves around but it does swivel up at the top it has this hinge right here and which allows this to go out and you can hear that has uh, ratchets the entire leg is also die cast and is the feet uh, so this thing has an insane amount of die cast here in the legs. This is where all the die cast is, which most of the weight is. And my arm is actually getting really tired holding this up. Uh, you got the double jointed knee, also ratcheted, guys. Look at this. This whole thing is just ratcheted. And then you have the feet. And are the feet ratcheting? Yeah, the feet are also ratcheting, guys. So this thing, it, it, it's really designed to hold all this weight. And you also have ratcheting ankles this way. So if you love ratchets, you're going to fall in love with this guy 
Now even though he is sturdy enough to stand on his own, I do want to show you the stand that it comes with. Got a little star right there. And this is the actual stand here, so we'll go ahead and put that together. Uh, it goes in this way and like that. So it allows movement. Oh, there we go. This has got these little holes here so you can actually adjust the angle and snap it in. And it's got this piece here, which again, ratcheted. All right. These two posts here, they attach to his crotch right down here. So we'll go ahead and try that out. Whoops, breaking stands here. All right, so we'll pop it in like so. And it does hold them really nicely. I don't have this piece attached, but uh, it's just really just to show you how that works. Let's take a look at the stand down here. So you see how it attaches and how it holds them up really well. And I, I honestly can't even really wait to show this to you guys, but check this out. Check out the treads. Have you ever seen treads like that on a toy? They actually spin. Look at that. And they'll keep spinning. But uh, that we'll show you later. All right, and I just wanted to show you this one more time so you can see the proper usage of this piece here, which I took off, and that's how it works. Again, very solid stand. Now let me show you guys the sword. It's it's gigantic. I almost said ginormous again. That would be the third time in this video. Uh, it's a big sword. Now to use this, uh, by, by the way, the chrome is absolutely amazing. Check that out. Beautiful. But to use this, you obviously want to take off the handle from the back. If I could just reach back there. It's a little tough. This guy takes up a ton of space here. And uh, let's go down here so you can see the hand. The hand has a hole which allows for the peg here on the sword handle so that you can hold it properly. All right? Just fold all those crazy little fingers and make sure it's tabbed in right. And there he is with the effing sword which is awesome and again I apologize not being able to fit all this in here now I did want to show you a couple of cool bits this I did forget to show you in the uh, articulation because I wasn't aware of it and I forgot from what I saw but um, the mouth opens so that's a bit of articulation that's a nice little surprise another little surprise is down here right in his belly if you open it up you get little Frankie in there which he's not so little, but he's little compared to this guy. So he's in there piloting. The figure doesn't do anything. The arms are actually just cut off right there. It's just you know meant to look like an illusion there with him piloting. Very cool, very nicely done little PVC figure. Uh, speaking of PVC figures, you also get Frankie here uh, sitting down. And the reason is sitting down, if we can just get this camera to focus. You're so expensive and you don't focus. All right, so. Uh, we get Frankie here in a sitting pose because, guess what guys, General Frankie comes apart to form two different vehicles, which I will show you, and that's the whole reason he's got tank treads. Uh, so in love with this thing. I'm going to pause for a second, rub it on my crotch, and then we'll continue the review. Alright guys, I am back now, and through all that furious crotch rubbing, I forgot to show you this little guy here. This is Tony, and uh, my wife likes Tony. But uh, she's not going to keep this one. This is mine. But Tony's here. I'm going to show you what he does. Doesn't do much except just... Yeah, you'll, you'll see in a moment. Uh, so that's a little, another little PVC figure which is included. Not articulated, obviously. It's very small. But uh, I do want to show you the two other modes for Frankie before my camera runs out of batteries. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, do the Futosai bike here. And then the Brachio tank down here. So to start off with this guy, we obviously are going to need the arms, and then there's a little P, or not little, actually, got it right here. It's a, it's a parts former, if you want to call it that. You need this section here, which is pretty much the whole entire bike, minus the arms. Uh, now, for the sake of just saving time in the review, I'm going to go ahead and try and do this as quick as possible. We're going to remove the arms here. Now I gotta take the arms, and you guys might be blown away by this, but check this out. You gotta pull this ring, and it goes over his hands, and you just fold the fingers. Alright, so that forms part of the wheel. Once you have that done with both sides, then it's just a matter of attaching the arm to the motorcycle piece here, and then 
it also tabs right there on the arm so look for that and then tab it in like so and then do the same with the other side like this then just line up the wheels there's also little tabs you'll see one right there you can, um, line it up with the opposite end and then just snap them together just like that and come around back and then lift these flaps out like so need nails I don't got nails all right there we go lift that up and then the final piece is just sitting uh Frankie down where's Frankie where's Frankie where's Frankie here's Frankie and then just pop him right in and he's a little bit articulated so you can uh, get his hands in there if you really try and also the um, what do you call it this has soft PVC the actual handlebars so you can kind of fake it right in there and there he is in uh, what the hell was this called Fudosai? Fudosai, I think it's called uh, motorcycle yeah that's it <laughs> number four FRU beautiful this is awesome even though it is a little bit of a parts former. So next thing we're going to do is grab the other part of uh, General Frankie and create the Brachio tank. Uh, and I guess I should show you guys that uh, this technically does roll. I wouldn't suggest it since you are going to probably rub off the nice gold paint here. Uh, the front does roll. Again, uh, it's probably rubbing, rubbing somewhere. So may not want to do that. But yeah. Anyway, Brachio tank. So Brachio tank does uh, obviously require the bigger portion, the heavy portion. Uh, this has to be popped out. We no longer need little Frankie. Right, and you can see a little gold shaft in there, which is going to be part of the Brachio tank. And then there's the little tabs. I was telling you, you can sort of, let's try and get a light in there. Or maybe push it up. There we go. There we go. I, pu I pushed it up. That allows this whole section to come forward. We've got to do the same on the other side. See that piece? Just push it right up. Okay, and it doesn't actually come down on its own, although you probably, yeah, you can push it right back down. So I uh, just need a little nail for that. All right, so we got that. So after we do that, we just fold this in. Then we separate these awesome tank treads. You'll see it's got opposite tabs, so they tab together. And then fold them out. When you fold them out, you'll see these little tab things here and then the little recess piece. And that's going to tab right into the side there. You can also do the same for the other. And then this section is going to tab to that. Like so. Do the same for the other side. And that's going to hold the tread pieces in place. Once you got that done, just pull this down. It's going to allow you to pop this section up. Then very carefully, just push his head down. Clear the chin of that so you don't scratch any paint. And you should feel a firm snap right in there. Then you want to fold this out this way. Make sure nothing's touching because the chrome part does come awfully close to this piece. Flip that around. And next, push this down again. Make sure you clear everything. All right, especially if uh, you're paying a lot for this fit, you don't want to mess it up. And then close this down here like so. And now you have the front part. And check out the awesome, awesome paint on that. Then when you're down here by the crotch, remember I was showing you that whole mechanism there? You want to make sure it's pushed all the way in on both sides. And then you just got to fold the legs. You're going to want to fold it in this way, right on themselves. So do it for both sides. So next you want to have these two pieces handy. These are the uh, parts to complete uh, the brachio tank. This is a separate piece from the one that I showed you with the little Frankie. This is a completely different piece. You need this and also this trash can looking thing uh, that looks like it's got padded walls and a little seat and then some controls in there. All right. So we have to attach these together by spinning them this way, locking them together. And then, go ahead and raise this a second. Grab the brachio tank, pop this right in, and then grab little Tony and then pop them right in there. Now Tony doesn't look like he's having much fun in there. He's not really sitting or doing anything. Uh, you can choose to leave him there. I don't see why you would if you're going to close this up. Why you would want to leave it there, I don't know. But uh, if you do want to like display it, and I'm not sure if I have this all the way in. We'll check that in a second. It does have this piece here, which molded in blue for some reason, then just painted gray instead of just molding it in gray. But he will attach to this, and it allows him to stand in there with that opened up. 
All right, so I did a little checking up on how this works. I had it backwards. You'll see these two pieces going to the two slots in the front and there's one on the back. So there's one back here and two in the front. I had it backwards so I had to remove this and place it the right way. And then now it goes in and you'll see it's still loose. But if you push down, now it's nice and secure. You can pretty much pick them up and there you go. You can open that up, pop Tony back on this way or just toss them in there close the hatch, voila, you're done. So even this brachio mode or brachio tank, whatever it's called, is awesome. The treads roll. I've never seen a toy with treads like this. I've seen toys with rubber treads. Thank God they chose to make plastic ones so they're not going to deteriorate. De can't even say it. Deteriorate over time. And here's a face of the vehicle. Don't go sticking weird things in there. So again, this is a very beautiful, very awesome figure. Definitely recommended. Uh, I don't do recommendations like this often, but if, uh, if you've got the money and you dig it and you're, you're in love after you see this review, uh, yeah, go ahead and pick one up. You can get one with the link below at Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, yeah, so this is General Frankie in brachio tank mode. Alright guys, so now we are at the end of the review of this fantastic figure. You guys know what kind of figures I'm in, so if you like the ones that I like, you will surely love this one. This thing is beautiful. Even if you don't know anything about the show, it doesn't matter. I don't know crap about the show, and I'm in love with this thing. I love the details. Everything about this is amazing. The paint, die cast, everything. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Definitely worth much more to me than those crazy ass future getters which cost like four times more than this but uh yeah so if you have any questions or comments guys please leave them below and subscribe and stuff and till next time guys bye bye